Are you fed up with the shine of graphite pencils? I know I am, and it always bothers me when I'm drawing a very dark subject, but don't worry because I think I found the perfect pencils. They don't shine, and you will love them for sure. Towards the end of this video, I'm going to draw a toucan bird as well, so please make sure to watch until the end not to miss it. Now, let's see how these amazing pencils work. Before starting out, I want to mention this isn't a sponsored video. As I mentioned earlier, the shimmer given by graphite pencils always gets in the way when I'm working on a drawing with lots of dark areas, which is why I looked into finding some pencils that don't shine in contact with light. That's how I discovered Mars Lumograph Black from Stedler. These pencils are very high quality and have a very high proportion of carbon in the lid for a matte jet black result. I purchased the set of 6 from HB to 8B. To see how each pencil behaves in contact with light and how it looks like after being applied to the paper, I made some swatches of each. I intentionally placed the light source closer to the paper to discover how black and matte their pigment is. As you can see, HB, 2B and 4B are not so matte, the reason being that they have a lower proportion of carbon in the lid than the others to follow. 6B is already starting to be much more matte and 7B and 8B are identical, both have a very dense and dark black and don't shine at all. They have a very high proportion of carbon in the lid which prevents the light from reflecting. I have noticed that the 4B starts to stop glowing if the pigment is applied in more than one direction. I personally would use the shimmering ones for sketching or base layers and the matte ones for details. To layer I use an HB pencil as the first coat followed by an 8B to darken up the area. It was very easy to apply to the sheet, the only problem being the consistency of the pencils. HB and 2B have a softer consistency and from 4B it starts to get harder and feel like it doesn't glide so easily on the paper, 8B having a very similar feel to working with charcoal. I used circular movements to create an even spread of the pigment. This will help a lot as well when I'm blending, lowering a lot the risk of leaving some unwanted marks on the paper. To blend and push the pigment into the paper, I used a blending stamp. I wanted to see how it reacts in contact with it. What I noticed is that it takes a lot more pressure to push the pigment into the paper and it is not so easy to handle, whereas graphite spreads very easily on the paper, as you can see my demonstration, I wasn't able to get rid of the pencil strokes entirely, but I suppose the more layers I applied, the smoother it will have become. To create a gradient from dark to light, I used the 8B pencil again to make the black as dense and strong as possible. I started with a very high pressure for the dark area and reduced it towards the light area. It was really simple to create this gradient and the final outcome was amazing. With this pencil I was able to achieve that matte and dense black that you can't achieve with a graphite pencil. I have always wanted to find a pencil like this to use in the darkest areas of my drawings without worrying about it reflecting the light. To test how easily it erases, I used a putty eraser to create a highlight. Throughout this demo, I applied very light pressure on the eraser to lift the pigment off the paper without damaging it. This is a great trick to apply when you make a mistake and want to get rid of it or to create different textures in your drawings. As you can see, everything went smoothly and I was able to get a bright area that looked really good. However, I didn't manage to completely erase the beginning of the highlight and get rid of all the pencil marks. To test these pencils from all aspects, I decided to draw this lovely toucan bird. This subject seemed ideal for these pencils as it has a lot of black and I wondered if I would really get rid of that light reflection at the end of the drawing. Normally, even the darkest graphite pencil would have reflected the light at the end. Now let's take a look at the materials I will be using for this artwork. For blending, I will use blending stamps and the makeup brushes with hard bristles. For the highlights I'm going to use a Tombow Mono Zero eraser, a white gel pen, a white pencil and a putty eraser. These four will be used for different kind of highlights followed by the Stadler pencils. I highly recommend all these supplies. To sharpen the pencils I'm going to use my favorite sharpener which is a manual one. This one is very affordable 
and provides a very good result. I always broke the pencil leads with other types of sharpeners due to applying heavy pressure. With this one, I just twist the handle and it does all the work for me. Now let's get to the part I think we've all been waiting for, which is drawing the toucan bird. As with the other reviews I've done, I will discuss the pros and cons of this Mars Lumograph black pencils. Let's start with the pros. The first and biggest pro is the elimination of light reflection and that they have a jet black finish, but you have to keep in mind that not all grades have a matte finish. HB, 2B and 4B still have a pearlescent finish and from 6B upwards they become more and more matte. This is due to the amount of carbon in the lid. For example, HB, 2B and 4B have a very small amount of carbon so that they are not too dark when applied to the paper, whereas the higher grades have a lot of carbon in the lids because they are specially made to be used in the dark areas of the drawings. Another pro is that they have a very strong and thick lid that breaks very hard. Throughout this drawing I used a very high pressure and it never once broke, which is a good sign for people like me who use a very high pressure when drawing. Another positive thing about this is that they smudge well, but that's only if a large number of layers is applied. In my blending stamp demo, I only used 3 layers and I should have applied more. Now is the cons turn to be brought out. One thing that bothered me a lot during drawing is that the pencils give a very scratchy feeling because of their very stiff lid. It always felt like it was damaging the paper. Another disadvantage is that you have to apply a lot of layers to create a smooth finish and the pencil strokes won't disappear completely. That's why I would recommend using graphite as a base layer and black lumograph for details. One thing I didn't expect is that they are very hard to erase, especially if more pressure is applied, making correcting mistakes more difficult. Overall, these pencils are really good, especially the 6B, 7B and 8B and they are worth giving a try. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use the 7B and 8B most of the time for the darkest areas in my future graphite drawings. Now we came to an end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you've learned a lot from it. I am posting one time a week and normally graphite, colored pencil or pastel related videos. So if you don't want to miss any of those, Please hit that subscribe button and the bell button as well to be notified every time a video goes live and I really hope I'm going to see you in the next one as well. Have a nice day, bye guys!